Get me Ephesians 1. Let me touch it again, again, and again. Ephesians 1 from verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power? Yes. Which he walked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him. Mark that word. He raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly or heavenly places. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world in this age but also in that which is to come and god has put how many things under how many things shout it all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all that fills all in all get ephesians 2 verse 6 and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in christ jesus now look up let me show you everybody if you go back begin to make discovery this ministry is more than a place just only miracles we open you to the scriptures then take your adventure it's your responsibility to take adventure my work is to show you how it is done the bible says i told you when god was observing jesus nobody knew what god was looking at or what god saw until god said something and then wrote it down through men he inspired just like they were looking at me nobody knew what they were thinking but they uttered it if allowed they are going to write it down so that others may read so when god was looking at you and looking at jesus god discovered that jesus is not separate from you and you are not separate from christ he only saw jesus and suddenly saw that you are inside jesus and it was not your prayer that brought you inside jesus it was the wisdom of god in resurrection and redemption and god now said to paul paul write it down that the moment jesus was buried i didn't see only jesus buried the moment he actually was raised i didn't see him only raised i discovered that i saw everybody sitting down here they were all raised together with him and where jesus was made to sit is called far above so there is no common boundary because as i observe i discover that the gap between jesus and the forces of darkness are immeasurable so the only way to describe it is to call it far above because it is not subject to measurement of any kind and so god eventually looked at you and said that that day jesus was raised god of and discovered jesus was not empty he was loaded with content and god observed the content and saw you inside jesus he now said to paul write it down it was not only jesus that was raised I saw that Michael was inside Jesus. So put it down. Michael inside Jesus was raised when Jesus was raised. So Paul now wrote it down. That we were seated together with him. We were inside of him. That moment Jesus raised him up. And so he now puts you and I far above. If you take God's picture painted in the word of God which is a revelation of the mindset or the thought of God and begin to meditate and think over them ruminate over it for a long time after a while you begin to see things the way God sees because the thought of God controls your thought and it is that thought that runs your life so instead of fighting which is with all your energy and getting no results sit down how does God see witches? How does God look at witches? When God looks at witches, does God see power? If no, get the word of God, which is God's thought, meditate on it until you begin to see no power with witches. When God sees them, does God see them with any authority? The answer is no. 
get the revelation from the scripture. Meditate on that word until you see devils without authority. The challenge is that you are seeing devils with authority. And God sees devils without authority. Which means you are going to be fighting different battles. God will treat them commonly. You are going to treat them uncommonly. God will treat them without respect. You are going to treat them with respect. God can walk, out, walk among them without fear. You are going to walk among them with fear because you don't have God's picture. It is the image or the thought in your mind that determines your fear and your audacity. You cannot be afraid, mother. Cook, while growing up as children, there was a particular place in my village in those days. It was a very a narrow road, but forest here, forest here. And once you come to that place, your body begin to shake. Am I communicating? You know what? You know what is causing it? Fear. You know what caused that fear? That thick forest. Because of what they told you about thick forest. Because if you were raised up and you were told that thick forest is the presence of God, there will be no fear. <laughs> it was because they told that every thick forest, there must be a devil. And when there is a wind, blue, they have come to carry you. Even though you get born again, that imagination is still there. Am I communicating? So once you come around any thick forest, your body will shake. Boop, 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 boop. You say, I resist you. I come myself with the blood of Jesus. That covering with the blood is a response to that falsehood. Because in the real place, there is no demon there except in your imagination. So change that picture. Respond to situation the way, the way God responds to them. Then command God's result. It is your thought that runs your life. For example, for example, in the midst of these economies that are scattered all over the world now, and everybody is crying and complaining, what is God's mindset? When God looks at the economy, how does God see? Because if you don't look at it the way God looks at it, I guarantee you fear forever. High so it will be map of high blood pressure. Because you are going to be looking at helpless situation, hopeless situation, no house rent, nobody to help, and no work to do. You are going to be down, downcast, fearful. But when God looks at the economy of the world, does God actually see lack for his people, no matter the lack going on? Or is there any other thing God sees? Go and get that God's thought revealed in the word of God, Take it into your mind, ruminate over it, meditate until that word will give you another consciousness. And that another consciousness will connect you to another source of supply. If you don't have time for this, then get ready for endless prayer without result.